Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. I'm Josh, welcome to Koshbo, and going to be showing you how to stream retro games console or your old games console to OBS Studio or whatever. But I'm going to be using OBS Studio. So that there is the console I am going to be using, the original Xbox um, Crystal Edition. Sorry if you can't hear my voice very well and the capture cards that I'm going to be using, yes, capture cards, I said cards, two of them, and it right, left, and uh, CVBS, AV ports there, and you've got a switch here, I don't know if you can see that very well, um, 720p to the left, and then 1080p to the right, I have it set to 1080p, because, well, you know, 1080p TV on the TVs that I use, I use two monitors and then uh, its own power supply. So, for this to work, you're going to need a USB plug. So, you need to find the cable for it. Got oh, so many cables. So, you just plug it up. If it actually works without breaking it, plug it into your uh, doodah. Turn this on first before you connect any cables. Alright, so now it's on. And then you get your original Xbox cables here in a correct standard way. There we go, see? Alright, and then the HDMI part. So, I've got to try and remember this. I still get this wrong sometimes. You need to use one of the HDMI cables that is spare. Okay, so that's available to you. So I'm going to be using just, just this standard one here. Plugging that in. Make sure that's securely in. There you go. So that's in there. Alright, so you've got that part done. And then the other HDMI cable, which is this one, which was already connected to the mini AV uh, TV there. Okay, so what you need to do with this one, before you plug that into the other capture card, because I said two capture cards, remember? So this is the capture card I bought uh, for £15 off Amazon. I used to have this before, uh, got rid of it, and then I came, and I decided to go streaming again, so I thought I'll have it back again. So this is called the HDMI Video Capture with Loop. So you've got a HDMI input there, I uh, don't know if you can see that, there, its own power, so that's another USB source power, and you've got your output there, and your... USB there which is which needs to be connected up to your PC which we'll get onto in a bit so you need to find the cable that came with your doodah I've got so many cables it's unorganized it's unbelievable there we are okay so this is the cable I don't know what this is micro USB C or whatever I don't know plug that into there first and then use another USB plug. Anyone will do. This one look like it's been faded. Hopefully, this one actually works. Plug that in. All right. There we go. So now you should have like either a red or a blue light popping up there you can see that I don't know if you can see that see that so now what you need to do is if I remember is remember remember the AV uh, not the AV remember the HDMI cable connected to the AV to HDMI remember that so that goes into that and then the same cable on the other end which is this one goes into the 
capture card that you're going to be using, your second one. Alright, plug that in first. So make sure you do these steps. And then the HDMI cable here, which is plugged into your TV. Okay, this is your second HDMI cable. So make sure you you uh, do this in order first. So you've got the power first. Same with, same with the AV one. So you've got the power first, and then you can plug in your uh, HDMI cable, right? And then you go into uh, the output one, so you get your second HDMI cable. Uh, sorry, I just moved the camera a little bit. There we go. All right, so you should have it like that. And then the third port is for your USB. So luckily I've got one here that came with the box. Simple as pi you just put that in all right now the blue light should be flashing or blue light should be on and then this other usb here goes into your pc so bear with me very unorganized now it should make a noise going doo -doo -doo. and if it has then that means it's worked and then before you go into obs uh, you need to turn on your tv Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting capture on this TV. So that was what it should look like. Okay, guys. So if you see, <laughs> my bad. So if you see a picture on like that, that means you've set up your capture cards correctly, like this. Okay. Just follow the steps, like I said, and then uh, like that, you see, there you go. So yeah, it has come through, as you can see, got the Simpsons hit and run over there on my OBS studio, sorry about my desk, it's very dirty, very busy, and then you've got the Simpsons hit and run on the big TV there, 4 inch TV, that's the Veltech, so that's pretty good. We are now in OBS Studio. What I'm going to do is show you how to get your video capture up or your video up in OBS Studio. Now you may be wondering why I'm not in game game, game scene. It's because I'm just in just chat and portion and I've got a display thing up. So yeah, what I'm going to do is show you how to get it. So you just go into plus, just imagine we're in a game scene. Go to plus, go to video capture call it, I don't know, test, and there you go, yeah, so there it is, you've got your picture up already, there it is, you can then configure, uh, click 1280 by 720, or whatever your capture card can go up to, but I go to 1280 by 720 because I have all my streams and my OBS set to twelve eighty by seven twenty. Okay, that's great. Um, you may not see this because there's a like the videos in front of the doodah. You may or may not see it. But anyway, after the resolution, you can either match out your FPS or make it the highest. I have it at forty eight frames per second. I might have it lower, but I'll just leave it at match out match output fps video format in jpeg color maximum 709 color range full all right um i think i leave this unticked i can't remember but i leave it unticked all right all these little bits I click ok and you've got your video okay well you should have your video um let me just undo this yeah you should have it somewhere yeah there you go see now when you have like overlays make sure you put your test thing at the very bottom so then you can get all your widgets and stuff okay um, and that is actually it on how to do that quickly. There we are.
All right. So you go into sound, and you go down to your input. Input there. It says choose your input device. It should say digital audio interface USB. Uh, digital audio. So it should be this one. Okay. So you click that, and then you go into device properties, and it's at zero. Okay. You have to do this mostly every time you plug in your devices. You should be able to hear some audio now. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I have it set to 70, 75. Okay. And then once that's done, you can just Tell click close. And there's the video. All in sync, all lovely, and you can hear the game. But if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. <laughs> Better let go, uh, you decide if you're ever gonna